Hello dear students, uh, welcome to the second lecture of the data analysis and the interpretation. And in this lecture, we are going to discuss the descriptive analysis and the, the part of the univariate analysis. What are the different types of the descriptive analysis and uh, one of the important elements is the univariate analysis. Okay, uh, let's move into the, the descriptive analysis. So what do you mean by this uh, descriptive analysis? Okay. The descriptive analysis means one of the important category of the analysis relating with your the data analysis. That means we all discuss what you mean by the, the descriptive analysis. The descriptive analysis means con uh, we are calculating the mean, median, mode, the measures, center tendency, dispersion. That's a part of your the descriptive, descriptive analysis. And we are discussing the uh, different elements, different uh, category of the descriptive analysis. So let's see the descriptive analysis can be classified into three format. The one is the unidimensional or the univariate analysis and another one is your the bivariate analysis and third one is the multivariate analysis. These are three format of the descriptive analysis. The first one is the univariate analysis and another one is the bivariate analysis and third one is the multivariate analysis. These are three category of the descriptive analysis and we are discussing the one of the important element is what do you mean by the univariate analysis and this lecture we are discussing the first category of the discrete analysis that is the univariate analysis okay the letter discuss the univariate analysis okay the univariate analysis means this term is uni that means one that is purely depends upon the one variable the study is relative with the one variable or analysis relating with the one variable that is known as your the univariate analysis okay and here there is a different category of the univariate analysis the distribution wise then the center tendency wise dispersion point of view these are the different category of the univariate analysis okay so that is the examination across the case of the one variable at a time the term is known as the univariate kind of a single variable which you want to make analysis conduct here that is known as the univariate analysis okay and here the uh, different category of univariate analysis can be the distribution wise the univ univariate analysis conducted with help of the the distribution wise and there is center tendency point of view the dispersion point of view we can be conducted you are the univariate analysis okay so that is the importance of your univariate analysis so that is a once again the univariate analysis of focusing on the single variable at a time that is known as your the univariate analysis and these are the uh, different parts of the univariate analysis there is a distribution and there is a center tendency and there is a dispersion okay let's move into the distribution wise and the distribution man means that is a frequency distribution there is a discrete frequency distribution there is a continuous frequency distribution these are two category of the distribution and the continuous means it depends upon the class interval the discrete means there is a there is a uh, there is no class interval and the summary of this information is known as your the distribution and here there is a given there is a, uh, just mentioned one distribution that is a class uh, continuous interval uh, there is a 36 to 45 46 to 55 and after that is a relevant percentage so that category is a distribution that means there is a frequency and corresponding value there is a corresponding frequency and there is a variable that is known as your the frequency distribution the first important category of the univariate analysis is the distribution wise that means summary of the frequency of the individual of the individual value or the range of the variable that is known as your the distribution so the distribution one of the important category of your the univariate analysis that's the first category is your the uh, univariate point of view that is the distribution and the second the center tendency and what are the important center tendency we are already familiar with different center tendency that's the mean median mode and these are the different types of the center tendency and we're discussing the different types of center tendency what is the mean what is the median what is the mode okay and what is the mean the mean means it is the average that's the average number of the items that is known as your the mean okay and how to find out the mean suppose there is a series 
and there is a uh, 11 number of series we can be easily identify the sum total divided by the numbers the total number divided by the numbers of the value the total of the observation divided by the numbers that term is known as your the mean or the average we already uh, calculated a lot of the formulas so, we have a lot of formulas mean use cmw use here and means average identify and that is the mean value the term is known as your the mean value that means uh, the distribution all the data add it then how many numbers are there divide them into the mean the term is also known as your the average uh, this method for the describing the center tendency and all you do this add up the all the values and divide them by the number of the values to just add the entire numbers and divide by the corresponding value that term is known as the mean or the average okay and second one is the median how to calculate the median the median means the middlemost item that is the median is a, is a middlemost value of the series it's known is known as the median there is a discrete point of view and the continuous point of view so that's a discrete point of view n plus 1 12th item that is your the median n plus 1 that's the 12th item that is the median and it's a continuous point of view number that is using a lot of the formula l plus l by uh, then l plus n into c by f then f into c the matter about formula so median is a uh, calculating on the uh, distribution wise and that is a uh, continuous distribution and the discrete distribution and what is the median the meaning of the median is the middlemost item in your the distribution find out the middlemost value of the information that is known as your the median okay and one way to compute the median to list the score of the numerical order we will study the important element of median range in the data and the order look under the partition diagram there is either a descending order or ascending order the data and arrange the band on the gm discrete series on the median and duplicate discrete series median and duplicate formula n plus one twelfth item and before that you are arranging the data that is a uh saying an arranging that is the uh, ascending order or the descending and uh, descending order just arranging the data so the team is known as you are the the median and median is the middlemost item of your the distribution and third one is your the mode what is the mode the mode is the most frequently repeated term that is the most frequently repeated term in the way mode in the way suppose the district in the district series of them and we bought a series of numbers and the atom will repeat the number that is your the mode then continuous frequency and the atom highest frequency where they are gonna other you can get a mode okay so that is a one of the important element of the mode the mode means the the most frequently repeated item so that is time is known as the mode and these are the three important category of the mesh center tendency that is a mean there is a median and there is a mode that means to determine the uh, middlemost item that is a median and most repeated item that is a mode and find out the average the time is known as the mean that is the three important element of the measures of the center tendency okay and after that the dispersion the dispersion is another important category of your the univariate analysis univariate analysis the one of the important categories you are the the dispersion that's a distribution center tendency and third one is a dispersion and if we're discussing what do you mean by this uh, the dispersion okay the dispersion mean there is two category of the dispersion that is the absolute measure and the relative measure an absolute measure there is a range cocktail deviation mean deviation and standard deviation all other the absolute measures of the dispersion and the relative measure that is the coefficient of variation the coefficient of cost deviation and coefficient of the mean deviation and these are the relative measure the team is known as the measures of dispersion the range cocktail deviation mean deviation standard deviation and relative measure that is the coefficient of variation the coefficient of the cocktail deviation the coefficient of uh, mean deviation these are the relative measure okay let us discuss one of the important measures used for the dispersion and the first important measure is the other range what is the range as a distribution point of view one of the important element is to find out the range of a distribution the range means is the difference between the highest value and the lowest value that means that term is known as a range as a difference between the largest item of the your know, the distribution and and minus smallest item of your the distribution the l minus s that is known as your the range that is the difference between the large item and there is a small item this it is one of the important measure for you the dispersion that's the first category that is the range and second one is the intercortical range the intercortical range means the it's the difference between the cocktails the three cocktails cocktail 1 q1 q2 q3 the q1 and the first cocktail q2 second cocktail that is known as here the median and q3 is the third cocktail 
and here the intercortical range means these are differences between the upper cortical and the lower cortical that means q3 is the upper cortical and lower cortical is your the q1 that's difference between the upper cortical and the lower cortical that is known as the intercortical range that's the second method of the dispersion is intercortical range okay and third one is a cortical deviation what is the cortical deviation the cortical deviation means the difference between the q 3 minus q1 divided by the 2 that's semi intercortical range this is also known as semi intercortical that's half of the difference between the upper cortical and the lower cortical the cortical deviation means the half of the difference between the upper cortical and the lower cortical the upper cortical represents the q3 the lower cortical represents the q1 so the q3 minus q1 divided by 2 that is known as your the cortical deviation that is third one is the cortical deviation the first one the range second one intercortical range and third one is a cortical deviation okay and the fourth one is a mean deviation this is very important element is uh, the mean deviation the mean deviation means uh, the difference between the variable and the mean value that's the average that's a deviation there's a d bar the d bar is represent the deviation of the means the mean deviation is the arithmetic mean of the deviation of an observation from your the center tendency that an arithmetic the x minus x bar that is the mean deviation it is arithmetic mean of the deviation of the observation from the center value that means center value means you are the mean or median the term is known as the mean deviation that is the fourth category is the mean deviation okay and there is standard deviation what is standard deviation that is square root of the arithmetic mean the differences of the arithmetic mean the term is known as the standard deviation the standard deviation is the square root of the arithmetic average of the square deviation measured from the other bin that is the uh, root of the x x minus x bar square that is the standard deviation uh, root, uh, x minus x bar square that is the variance and the square root of the x minus x bar square that is your the standard deviation so the standard deviation is always a square root of the arithmetic average of the uh, your the distribution so that is the fifth one that is the standard deviation and sixth one that is the lorentz curve the lorentz curve that means there's a curve is uh, showing the inequality of the income of the wealth of society there's a curves and representing the single line and expressing the there's a curve the upper curve and lower curve and that means it's a measuring the inequality of the incomes or the wealth in the society that curve is known as your the lorentz curve uh, these are the uh, different uh, tools used for your the, the dispersion okay uh, let me conclude and this lecture we're discussing the what you mean by the discretive statistics and uh, the discretive statistics means you're conducting the mean median mode as part of the distribution that is known as the discretive statistics but the discretive statistic can be classified to three there is a unidimensional univariate analysis there's a bivariate analysis and there is a multivariate analysis and if we discuss the first important element is the univariate analysis what is univariate analysis that means it is analysis based on a single variable at a time or one variable at a time that is known as univariate analysis and univariate analysis is a focusing on the distribution wise and uh, there is center tendency wise and the dispersion point of view a distribution point of view that is a frequency distribution that is a continuous and the discrete frequency distribution that's the frequencies cor corresponding with the values that is the distribution wise and center tendency that is a mean median mode and what is the mean that's average median the middle most item the mode is the most frequent item frequently repeated item that is a mode that is the tendency and third one dispersion there is absolute measure there is a relative measure range cot deviation mean deviation standard deviation coefficient of variation coefficient of cot deviation and coefficient of the mean deviation these are the relative measure another one is the absolute measure and we discuss some important dispersion there's a range the range difference with the lower cot lower lowest value and the high highest value and the smallest value the, lo uh, the, the sorry uh, the largest value and the smallest value that is the largest l is a uh, largest value and s is the smallest value so that's a uh, some difference is a higher and the uh, smaller that's highest value and the smallest value that is same is known as your the range that is intercortical range and there is the upper cortical and the uh, lower cortical and there is a cortical deviation there is a upper cortical and the lower cortical divided by the two that is the um you are the uh, quarter deviation and mean deviation standard deviation and the lawrence curve okay the thank you the thank you so much and thank you for watching me